Epigenetic modification of the epigenome is established during early embryonic development and is maintained during cell division. In this video, we will look at DNA methylation during embryonic development and the influence the environment can have on DNA methylation patterns. During the period of embryonic development, methylation patterns of the germline and somatic cell lineages are established. Here is a pregnant woman, and we will zoom into the uterus, and from here, go back in time to when fertilization occurred. Then we will follow the changes in DNA methylation pattern during embryonic development. Initially, the egg that is released during ovulation carries the maternal DNA methylation pattern. The sperm that will fertilize the egg carries the paternal DNA methylation pattern. It is important to draw a graph. Here we have on the y-axis the level of DNA methylation pattern, and it can be increasing or decreasing during early embryonic development. The female egg and male sperm, as I already mentioned, carries its own DNA methylation pattern. During fertilization, a zygote is formed, and the maternal and paternal genome and epigenome are contained in one cell. The paternal epigenome then rapidly undergoes genome-wide active DNA demethylation and remains demethylated following multiple rounds of cell division. The maternal epigenome undergoes gradual passive demethylation. By the morula stage, the methylation pattern of the embryo is essentially erased. At the blastocyst stage, de novo methylation is initiated. De novo methylation is where new methylation patterns are re-established in the growing embryo. During differentiation, each cell type acquires a unique DNA methylation pattern that is subsequently maintained during each cell division. The initial enzyme responsible for removing DNA methylation patterns from the maternal and paternal genomes are enzymes called TET. Methylation are carried out by DNMT enzymes. DNMT3A and DNMT3B are responsible for de novo DNA methylation of embryonic cells. And DNMT1 is responsible for maintaining the DNA methylation state in somatic cells during each cell division. DNA methylation plays an important role in human health and has been associated with a growing number of diseases including cancer, imprinting disorders, and repeat instability diseases. Although the DNA methylation patterns are relatively stable, changes in methylation can potentially occur during early development due to environmental influences. For example, the mother's environmental exposure to smoke, alcohol, nutrition, and drugs may lead to random epi mutations in the developing embryo, and even in the germ cells of the developing embryo. The developmental origins of health and disease hypothesis proposes not only that we are what we eat, but also that we could be what our parents and grandparents ate, and what they have been exposed to. The epigenome, unlike the genome, can also be modified in response to interactions with environmental conditions after birth, and accumulated DNA methylation alterations as we age can lead to diseases such as cancer.